The fermentation process uh, is really where the we've done all that we can. The, the joke is that brewers make wort and yeast make beer. And so now we want to add a, a healthy yeast with, with good viability to the fermenter, uh, whatever our vessel may be. Uh, actually here on the way to the vessel, we oxygenate uh, this now cooled wort uh, as it is pumped into a fermenter. Uh, and this oxygen will uh, allow the yeast to go through the first stages of its Krebs cycle uh, to take on the oxygen through its, build up, through its cell wall, build up healthy cell walls. And then as a survival technique, once all the oxygen has been consumed out of the wort, the yeast actually change and become anaerobic and consume the sugar that we've created. Um, and in the consumption of sugar, they create alcohol and CO2, the most common byproducts. We sort of predicate our business based on yeast survival mechanism. When they're consuming oxygen, that's 100% of their energy potential. When they switch to be anaerobic, they actually are only at 8% of what they were consuming oxygen. Uh, but that survival uh, of them becoming anaerobic creates alcohol and CO2, which are necessary parts of beer. So as it moves through, it will consume uh, sugars in, in particular orders, most easily referred to as how complex they are to how simple they are. Uh, so it'll consume the, the more complex sugars first and move to the simpler ones. And then once that's done, it will chew out uh, any off flavors, uh, DMS, uh, acetaldehyde, uh, and different things as the final final uh, parts of its cycle. And then once the beer technically goes diacetyl, ne diacetyl negative, uh, then it is done fermenting. And that process can take, uh, in a commercial setting, probably anywhere from three and a half to 10 days, depending on the beer um, and the yeast health. And uh, then once that's done, then we would crash the beer or cool the fermenter down uh, to allow the yeast to go dormant uh, and get clear beer uh, at the top of the fermenter and, and all the yeast settle out at the bottom.